If you don't give me quality attention, attention. If you don't give me quality attention, I might get it from somebody else. Body else. I might get it from somebody else. All right, so somebody's saying if you don't give me some quality time, some quality attention, then I might get it from someone else. Now, I don't know who is saying this. I don't know if this is you saying this, Collective, um, or if someone is saying this to you. But it seems as if somebody is needing some uh, quality time and attention here. So we're going to get some energy on this reading. But that song has been going through my head for the past couple days. So I just said, okay, maybe this is Spirit saying let's do a reading on this. Um, whoever needs to hear this message or whoever needs needs to um, <clears throat> speak this message. I don't know, but we'll see what comes out. Anyway, um, that song is by Tiwa Savage, a Nigerian artist. I first heard that song on the uh, Netflix show Sex Education. <laughs> so if you haven't checked that show out, check it out. It's a very entertaining show, a very enlightening show, and very educational as well. So anyway, before we get before we start, uh, my quintessential crew, my quintessential team, thank you all again for joining me for another night of your weekly general readings. I hope that you all are having a spectacular beginning to your new years, that you are making plans, that you are writing your goals down, that you're journaling, that you are setting yourself up for an amazing year right here. So that was a lot. <laughs> the Happy New Year and thank you again for joining me. You already know, this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that I say that do not resonate with you, that you don't want to hear about, that do not make sense to you, then leave those messages on the floor, leave them at the door. Someone else will come along, pick them up, I promise and guarantee you. Please follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 I greatly appreciate it. And hit the like button for this video. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that as well, too. So, let's go ahead and get into this reading. So, a few cards that I've already um, put down on the board right here. This is my uh, Shakespeare card. And very interesting because I was watching the Twilight series today. I've not watched that series ever. Although, I'm very much well aware that these movies exist. Um, I've just never had any interest in watching them until this weekend. So, plus, they, uh, the last day for them is January 15th. But anyway, I say all that on Netflix and then they take it off. You know how they recycle the, um, content on there. But I say all that to say, while I'm watching the second one, there was a scene where they were in the classroom and the teacher was showing them the movie Romeo and Juliet. So, here we go with Romeo and Juliet right here. Uh, with the Shakespeare. I always just think Shakespeare, especially because of the way that this monkey is dressed and <laughs> the skull that he's holding and just all of the uh, words and the paper and just everything and the theories, you know, that are coming. So infinity, you know, is one um, symbol that I see on this card. So you know, something just being never ending or something that is just infinite. You know, infinite abundance, infinite wisdom, um, just infinity, you know, right here. So we have this card and then we have this where someone is being uplifted, where spirit is lifting someone up, where they are keeping their spirits high, where they are um, ascending. You know, so someone is on ascension or there's something that's going on with an ascension here. So, and now with this uh, card, you know, this woman holding all of these keys around her neck and someone is searching for answers. So, um, I feel as if someone could be on the verge of doing something as almost as if they are thinking about something. They're putting some things into theory or they have theories about something, but they're not uh, putting it into practice just yet. But something is here awaiting to be unlocked. And... I feel as if this is someone needing to gain a higher perspective, probably getting a leg up, getting some assistance from uh, the universe in many different forms right here. So, you know, someone is making sense out of something that probably makes no sense or the answers will soon be coming to them. But uh, quality attention. So time and attention. So let's see what uh, comes out with this reading. All right. <laughs> 
a choice here with the two of pentacles in the reverse. So a choice here that's been made about something. So maybe someone has finally decided who or whatever it is that they want. Maybe who they want to give their attention to or what they need to focus their attention on. Because the two of pentacles can sometimes be something or someone who's juggling too much. They have a lot going on on their plate. They have a lot going on at one time. But now someone is deciding to um, make a choice with something. You know, the twos represent choices. Twos also representing uh, love, commitment, relationships. Maybe someone here could have been juggling two relationships at once, okay? It doesn't have to be, but <clears throat> that song is saying, uh, giving me quality attention, quality. Now I'm thinking of the high five song from the uh, early mid nineties. It's about time and honesty. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Unconditional love. Okay, but uh <laughs> but that song that was okay, not two songs are going through, but I started sing singing that for a reason. So someone wants to make the sacrifice. It's sacrifice, it's do or die, unconditional love, but they also had a song called Quality Time. So all of my time with you I want quality time with you Okay, so high five going through my head And now that other song Quality time and attention but unconditional love So, as I said um, Love unconditionally here is going on So let's see Okay, that's exactly what was going on with this With the three of cups coming out in the reverse uh, And with the two of pentacles here definitely some kind of a third party relationship as i said whenever the three of cups shows up it can represent celebration it can be something uh someone uh just socializing it's a lot of social activity and i mean we've just gone through this whole holiday season where yes there were a lot of social gatherings and people uh, possibly just getting together now if we are speaking about a relationship with this energy and that is what I'm picking up um, for confirmation there was someone here who was maybe involved in a third party all right maybe someone was involved in a third party that they possibly did not know about and when I say a third party there could have been someone else involved um, but I did say that someone was juggling a few relationships or juggling some things but they have made a choice about something so I feel as if um, they made a choice about dropping whoever this third party is or maybe whoever was the outsider in some way so <clears throat> Now they want to spend maybe quality time, um, you know, with the person who they want. Okay. Hangman. Okay. Someone's received some enlightenment about something. Uh, hangman coming out in the reverse. Um, you know, this situation is no, no longer in suspension mode. Um, and it's interesting that I did say it's about time and sacrifice. We pay the price. It's do or die. Unconditional love. Unconditional love can be very scary because, <laughs> you know, I, I say scary because we accept people, flaws and all. When there's conditions to our love or conditions to the affection that we are giving to someone, then it means that sometimes we are setting ourselves up for, to be hurt. Because if we put someone up on a pedestal or if we um, set certain restrictions or conditions around a relationship right there, then the moment that someone does something to hurt us, upset us, to disappoint us, then what are we going to do? We're going to want to cut away. We're going to want to um, disconnect from this relationship because we place certain conditions on them. But when we just love someone from a, a very unconditional space, then we're not uh, putting stipulations on what the relationship should look like. We're not allowing um, disappointments to come in to mess with us if things do not necessarily go our way. We say we love you unconditionally. Therefore, if we, if we give you love unconditionally, um, or if you love us unconditionally, then we're not setting ourselves up for pain or we're not setting ourselves up for disappointment because we understand that people make mistakes. People make mistakes all of the time, even with this third party situation here that's going on because sometimes um, 
people, you know, people may just get caught up in the moment <laughs> with things or they may just really not know who or what they want right there. Now, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, you allow people to play games, you know, with your emotions, not, play, not playing with your emotions, but... As I said, sometimes people just don't know. <laughs> they can't make up their minds. Um, you know, I feel. Or there are just qualities, you know, that they are looking for with um, in certain people. This could very well have been someone dating as well, too. Because it doesn't necessarily mean something, someone being involved with each and every person. But, um, you know, just trying to decide, okay, I need to make a choice here because I can't keep... Um, Hiding, or I can't keep uh, sacrificing who or whatever it is that I really want here. As I said, if we find ourselves in these third party situations like that, especially when it comes to romance, then we should have enough dignity, enough self respect to kindly remove ourselves if that's not a space that we want to be. And if we can see that someone is having a difficult time in choosing us or something, then we choose ourselves first bottom line of that we choose ourselves first but right here it seems as if either someone has removed themselves from like i said made a choice to uh cut off maybe extra certain people in the relationships maybe getting that aha moment with something with this hangman coming out in the reverse yeah, someone is not blocked anymore or someone is not at this crossroads anymore. Another number two with the two of swords. A choice has been made. A choice has been made about something and someone is tired of sacrificing right here. Sacrificing their time, sacrificing their energy, sacrificing their feelings um, as well. Yeah, with the four of cups coming out in the reverse, this is an opportunity coming back around, like revisiting something. Um you know, at one point, someone could have uh, emotionally disconnected. As I said, somebody was not seeing something clearly. Someone wasn't seeing something clearly. It's so interesting that even with just the arrangement of these cards, with the two of swords here, with the person with the blindfold on, she could clearly put down the swords and take off this blindfold, which I feel as if he or she has done this right now. Four of cups. The way that the um, spirit is giving something to this person, but they're being very nonchalant. They're not acting. They're acting as if they don't see it or they don't want to pay attention, you know, to something. Hangman coming out in the reverse where someone was keeping themselves in suspension or keeping a relationship in suspension. But now we're getting that aha moment. We've, we're getting enlightened on something. We're getting information. We are uh, more aware. We're able to see things from a different perspective now. Even more interesting, and I did say that in the beginning with this card. Um, like spirit is giving someone a different perspective, giving them a leg up right here where they're now seeing things and they're getting answers and putting things, you know, putting their theory into practice right here. So, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse comes out in the reverse. So, Ten of Pentacles, uh, you know, this is something that's long lasting or something that has longevity here. So, maybe someone has not, maybe someone is seeing that, okay. Um, wherever I am, and it could be with this third party situation, um, or this extra person or whatever it is, maybe this is, it involves family or maybe they have a family with this person. But as I said, they're now seeing that, um, this isn't something that's long term or they don't want to be there long term anymore for whatever reason. Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune in the reverse, um, as a matter of fact. So, you know, that's a bit of, um, uh, like a bit of negativity. You know, someone might be having a bit of a rough patch or a rough moment right now. Um, Three of Swords, Heartbreak Hotel comes out in the reverse. Yeah, so someone's coming out of the heartbreak. Someone's coming out of that Heartbreak Hotel mode. You already know what I say with the Heartbreak Hotel. Um, this is a place that we can visit, but we can't stay there. So maybe this is what someone uh, was saying. As I said, they're getting that epiphany, that aha moment, you know, with some things. And 
just releasing themselves from the heartbreak hotel, just realizing that staying in that state or staying in that place could possibly just be making them um, lose out on things. So, it's time, quality time, quality time and attention. Star comes out in the reverse, something needing to be healed here. Maybe a connection that needs to be healed as well. Um, as I always say though, charity begins at home. So make sure that we are healed within our own space and our own selves. Um, but when we do that, when we come to a place, especially if we weren't seeing something or seeing someone while they were here or while they were there, now, as I said, now we can we can see clearly now. We can see how this situation has possibly affected us. I feel as if this is a connection that someone has had with someone, but they needed to kind of see things from a different viewpoint right there and maybe just see how their actions possibly have been hurting someone or maybe their lack of attention or their lack of action had hurt someone. But as I said, now someone has realized that, wait a minute, maybe I've not totally been healed or maybe I this situation um, needs healing in some way. Because I feel as if someone maybe turned their emotion off or cut their emotion off with this queen of cups in the reverse. It can be someone who's very cold and sensitive, maybe even a bit vindictive and with the emperor coming out in the reverse. So it could be a masculine energy, could be Aries uh, going on here. It doesn't have to be Aries. Uh, Pisces as well is on the board. Um, maybe even Sagittarius here. Actually, um, like Scorpio, yeah, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer as well too um, on the board. Doesn't have to be those signs, but uh, it could very well uh, be. But with this Emperor coming out in the reverse and this Queen of Cups, someone possibly just uh, kind of trying to turn their emotions off in a way right here. And as I said, uh, possibly turning a bit cold, um, ice cold is what I'm hearing uh, right here <laughs> as well too. But I feel as if it's in conjunction with this star energy, as I said, maybe just them needing to um, heal within themselves, but then also heal a connection right here. And maybe this is what they're saying. Someone want, yeah, someone wanted to give quality time and attention now. And I see this on the bottom of the deck, the four of so, I mean, um, Four of Swords, well, I am mentioning the Four of Swords, but Four of Swords is like healing energy. So Four of Wands that's here, this is celebration. This is a happy, stable environment right here. Whether this is work, whether this is a home situation, um, relationship, whatever it is. But someone is now wanting to bring stability to some connection here. And with this Two of Wands coming out, you know, someone who's looking in another direction. Again, we have a two, two, and another two right here. So two, 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 could, you could be seeing a lot of twos right there. And I did mention that twos uh, representing emotion, representing connection, representing uh, relationship and partnership and commitment as well. Uh, but choices, someone is making a choice in a commitment here. Someone is making a choice in the direction in which they now want to go and the action in which they now want to take here. So, and I feel as if it is connected to, um, as I said, a stable environment or they're wanting to create a stable environment with someone, maybe even move into a home uh, with someone or thinking about moving into a home or living with someone. But... Yeah, chariot card. So something's on the way. So someone has more uh, focus and more direction. Um, you know, and now they want to they want to have success. They want to have victory. They want to move forward. They want to travel to someone or travel to uh, this person. So as I said, because I feel as if, like I said, they're getting some answers or they're getting some kind of answers or some enlightenment right here. And it's like someone has gotten smarter about something. Someone has gotten smarter. So let's see what the Romeo's Angel cards have to say. 
worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And it's very interesting because this wheel of fortune is all about divine timing right here. Something could have just been the wrong time. Express your love. Okay. I just saw that flip over. So, um, you know, this situation, it just could be saying that maybe there it was a wrong place, wrong time, wrong situation at one point. But we clearly have stated that something or someone needs to uh, be restored or they want to restore something heart to heart conversations. So this could have been something that someone has been waiting for right here. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So as I said, whatever context of a relationship this fits in for you, I'm just reading the energy right here. Um, something or someone who's worth waiting for, but now it might be time to have those uh, conversations. As I said, maybe it's going to be a bit easier now because someone is totally unblocked. Someone is, is, is maybe they're more open now. Like, as I said, they've been in this space from actually observing and viewing and seeing things from a totally different perspective. And I feel as if they've been receiving answers as well, too. But maybe a conversation that you all are going to have, maybe that is going to extend more of the answers that they have been uh, receiving. And that's going to make things, as I said, it's going to make things make a lot more sense in the long run. Let your friends help you. Ask us. Ask for and accept support from others. So, you know, I did say, you know, whatever um, relationship that this fits in for you could be something with friends because the three of cups can represent, as I said, being social, um, friends, and community right there. So, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So we have worth waiting for heart to heart conversations and giving the relationship a chance right here. So, it, you know, and I did say that someone is now choosing another direction. It's interesting that we began with the two of pentacles where someone has dropped something. And now we have the, and going through all of this that I've read. And now we have the two of wands where, OK, we're taking some kind of action and we are uh, choosing to go in a different direction unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going now this could be one of two things codependency addictions are affecting your romantic uh life this could be one of two things especially because i read this codependency right here um you know this heart-to-heart -heart conversation maybe because i did say that someone was dealing with an outside party or just maybe putting someone in a third party situation maybe they didn't even know about it maybe that's going to come out in this uh heart to heart conversation and unrequited love maybe this is why it was bad timing before as i said maybe it was just not the right time the right place the right space so with this unrequited love Maybe there's a chance that someone is learning about, okay, some codependent relationships right here, here, maybe even addictions because the three of cups can represent, as I said, overindulging in something, um, you know, could be overindulging in whatever social activity, drinking, smoking, I don't know, even just with other people. So yeah, I feel as if someone, as I said, is going to be learning and finding out the answers now with something because they're able to um, see things from a different viewpoint. So anyway, you all, um, again, Happy New Year. Take care. God bless you. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on TikTok. Please like this video. And um, I will catch you all in the next reading. So my quintessential crew, my quintessential team, I will talk to you later. God bless you. Stay safe and good night. Bye.